Ragman, an underrated DC superhero who relies on magic and evil souls, exploring this lesser known hero. Hello and welcome back to another breathtaking magical video by Marvelous Video. Today we will be talking about a DC character who not only uses magic but also has super strength and agility. In fact, he was also part of a group known as the Justice League Dark. That is right, and we are going to be talking about none other than the mysterious hero, Ragman. Today we will be talking about his origin story, his different appearances, and much more. So make sure that your popcorn is ready, Wi-Fi is on, because this is going to be an amazing journey about Ragman's life. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a whole lot. So thank you, and let's begin. Who is Ragman, and how did he come to be? Ragman, the Silver Age. The title of Ragman was originally made in the 16th century Eastern Europe by a community of Jewish people to replace their previous defender, the Golem. Even though the Golem was good, the people feared him. So the title of Ragman was given to Jerry Reagan. Jerry Reagan was the last European Ragman who was supposed to defend his people and was popularly known as Jersey Reaganwitz. Still, due to the extreme Nazi influence, he could not stop his people from being mercilessly slaughtered and decided to flee to the United States. After settling down in Gotham City, he kept on fighting for the good people, but one day, all hell broke loose for his son Rory. One day, Jerry and his friends were chilling in a pawn shop when a group of criminals beat and electrocuted all of them, including Jerry, after finding a hefty sum of money hidden under a recently pawned mattress. By the time Rory had arrived at the place, he was too late. But the pain was not enough for the criminals. They electrocuted him as well, and this caused him to get knocked out. But, when he woke up, he realized that not only was he fine, but he had gained all the powers of his father and his friends. Distraught and hungry for vengeance, Rory decided to take matters into his own hands. He got a hold of his old costume, which his dad had made for him for a costume party. The costume was just a bunch of old rags sewn together so he could look like the real ragman at the party. As he wore this costume, he swore to carry out his father's legacy and became the official Ragman. This origin story was just one of his origin stories, my dudes. Let's see what happens in the other one. Wrapped me in these rags. Said they were ancient. Post-Crisis. After Crisis on Infinite Earths, Ragman was not part of the DC Universe for a long time until Keith Giffen reinvented Ragman's story in the early 90s in a post-Crisis continuity. Most fans have accepted this as Ragman's real origin story. In this story, Rory still worked at his pawn shop, doing everything he could to help his community out, like buying things from the poor and whatnot, when similar events to the previous origin story occurred. His father was murdered, and this led to the shop being taken over by drug dealers. After Rory secretly opened a mysterious box in the shop containing rags, the rags immediately bonded with his body, sending power and magic throughout his entire body. These powers allowed him to quite literally absorb the evilest souls into his rag, which would lend him powers when he needed them. He could use their strength and their abilities, and he could also use their souls to absorb damage instead of him. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Imagine just putting on a costume that gives you powers. Oh wait, Ragman is Iron Man. <laughs> just kidding. Or am I? All these powers made him an excellent magic wielder and gave him super speed, increased agility, and damage absorption. But all these powers and exposing himself to these damned souls come with a price. If Rory wasn't careful, the evil souls and the rag itself would take over his mind and unsettle his sanity, hence why he was always having to keep those dirty rags in check. After finding out the real identity of the drug dealers who killed his family, Rory went to give them a little visit. His rag surrounded the two as it slowly absorbed them, and soon they were a part of his costume. After this, he went on a killing spree, killing everyone related to his father's murder. Rory felt empty inside when Rabbi confronted him. 
He told Rory the whole past of the Ragman and the Gollum. He even told Rory about his father and how everyone believed the suit to be destroyed due to a fire. This caused the community to make another Gollum which became more and more human-like. The Gollum was a good one, but now that Rory had the suit, there was just not enough magic for Rory and the Gollum to coexist, and hence he warned Rory that the Gollum might come looking for him. Then Rabbi trained Rory to use the suit properly and told him that the souls trapped in the rags were not really trapped. They actually were the rags. This revelation gave him a new sense of fear as the suit constantly tried to take over him. Even though his origin story was slightly changed in the rebirth continuity, Ragman remains the same hero fighting for the greater good. Ragman might have been a small player for the Justice League Dark compared to Wonder Woman and John Constantine, but he was still quite resourceful as he almost always came to help them in need and disappeared just as quickly. He has some major storylines, so let's look into them. Major Storylines Ragman Cry of the Dead In this story, Rory left Gotham so that he can get away from his past. He tried forgetting about Vietnam and his father so that it hurts him less. But he soon reached New Orleans, where he drew the attention of numerous voodoo mystics like Zipporah and had to engage in a battle with a deity of pure vengeance, which was taking over the bodies of humans and committing horrendous crimes. During this battle, Rory fell for Zipporah, but in the middle of the battle, she too was taken into control by the being. He quickly made up a plan and took help from other voodoo mystics like Legba to fight the deity. This helped him use the power of other deities and magical forces to combat a power that his suit could not have absorbed. After a long, bloody battle, Rory was successful in defeating the deity, but it cost him the life of his newfound love. Broken again, he ended up fleeing from Louisiana against his own will. Ragman, Ashes to Ashes In Gotham City, Rory became an assistant medical examiner at Gordon's Precinct, and on the very first day of his job, he found a corpse being fished out of Gotham Bay. After the discovery, the leading medical examiner wrote off the body as a suicide as there was no other forms of abuse. Unbeknownst to Rory, Mayor Sebastian Haiti was trying to reshape the Robbinsville district in Gotham in order to modernize the city. But the problem was that Robbinsville was a sanctuary for the homeless. Haiti had taken it upon himself to get rid of what he considered the undesirables. He offered those people money, and if they refused, he would just simply get rid of them forever. Rory soon wore his costume and headed out to investigate the Gotham slums. He really wanted to know the reason behind these attacks. Rory contacted a soul from his cloth and had a weird experience with arsonists. Soon he saw Vincenzo Salavata, who was the original Firefly. He had died in a fire in 1953. It seemed that Firefly had become delusional and believed that he was a god who would cleanse the earth with fire and bring new life from the ashes like a phoenix. Ragman confronted Firefly and battled him till dawn before he won, but even after all of this, he could still not trace back Firefly's action to the destruction of Robbinsville and Mayor Hades' involvement. So much work just to let your enemy roam free. I know, it's sad Ragman, but don't worry, you'll catch him soon. Infinite Crisis during the Infinite Crisis storyline, Ragman was fighting crime as usual when he suddenly teleported to a forest. He heard someone call out his name, so he followed the voice only to find the Enchantress stuck under some trees. He called upon the soles of his suit to lift the tree. After seeing that she was injured, he carried her for some time so that she could heal herself. She then told him about what had actually happened and asked him to teleport to Oblivion Bar, which he did. When they were trying to figure out what the Spectra wanted, he followed the rest of the group following the Spectra's trail to Mist Woods. When they were leaving, the Enchantress pulled him aside, giving him a gun that would kill her if she ever turned evil. He told her that instead of killing her, he would just absorb her into his suit. And due to her giving him a literal weapon to meet her demise, he took it as a hint of her liking him. And then he kissed her, only for her to reject his kiss and start laughing, saying that she would never do that. Ouch! Better wash those rags, Ragman. When they teleported to Spectra, he tried to fight Eclipso and tried absorbing her, but her backlash burned hundreds of souls that were in his suit. This made him extremely weak, but soon Enchantress turned evil and he had no other option but to fight her. Why does he always have to fight the person he loves? Like, what the 
Ah, never mind. Later on, Shadow Pact was trapped in a shield of blood that surrounded the city of River Rock, Wyoming. While in the city, Ragman and the others found an evil group called the Pentacle. In the Pentacle, there was a villain known as Bagman. <laughs> yes, Bagman. Bagman is the polar opposite of Ragman, and even though he too absorbs souls, he does it so by transforming into a gooey form. Shadow Pact only spent a short time in the city when they realized after leaving that a whole year had passed already. While they were missing, the Phantom Stranger and Rex the Wonder Dog looked after the city. After their final goodbyes to the city, Rory had to start his life all over again. Many people thought he was dead, and the rest of his teammates had the same problems. There was even a memorial statue made after them. Later on, Rory got trapped in his own rag. There he met a soul named Marcus Liberius, who was a centurion. He revealed that the cloak was the great collector of artifacts and had been in existence in many different forms over the years. Soon, Rory got to know that the souls could actually redeem themselves by helping Rory as Ragman when Marcus took Rory's blindness upon himself, which helped him ascend to a higher realm. It is then when it is said that Ragman was a member of the short-lived Sentinels of Magic who came together to decide the fate of the Spear of Destiny. Ragman's Powers we all know Ragman could absorb souls in his rag and use them to attack, defend, and even increase his potency. But did you know that the suit let Rory know who is evil or not, and even allowed him to multiply his skills tenfold by using multiple souls together, and Rory claimed to have used 100 souls altogether at once? He can also see everything all around him due to him using his soul's eyes. And one of the only weaknesses of the suit is fire. Ragman in the Arrowverse Rory Reagan was a vigilante who initially had sought revenge for the destruction of his home, Haven Rock, of which he was the sole survivor. However, the Green Arrow convinced him to seize his powers and asked him to use them for good. After this, Ragman operated under Team Arrow for a while, using the mystical rags of Devarim to fuel his magic. After absorbing a nuclear blast, the rags seemingly stopped working, which caused Rory to leave the team and return back to becoming a normal human, who tried helping everyone until he was hunted by Shimura, leaving his fate unknown. On Earth Prime, Rory had returned to acting as a Ragman and attended Oliver's funeral to honor him. He was given back his Earth-1 memories so he could remember being part of Team Arrow. Ragman showed up in Season 5 and was consistently shown for almost half of the season, making it one of the biggest appearances ever. Way to go, Ragman! The very last living soul of Haven Rock will kill 